Strawberry milk French macarons. <sighs> Don't judge me. Oh, no free brand deals. Okay, go for it. You cannot tell me that this right here was not your childhood. Someone once told me that adults are constantly searching for food that brings back the excitement and novelty of their childhood memories. We'll look no further. Hi, I'm Kim and welcome back to Macronomics. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make strawberry milk French macarons. Pink just in time for Valentine's Day and strawberry milk just to feel a little bit younger as we're progressively aging every single day. <laughs> We're literally going to be using a strawberry quick powder in our shells and into our filling. So this is going to be quick and easy and painless. Few moments later. Nobody's gonna hire me. Please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and ring that bell for notifications because as you can see, 2021 is starting off with a bang and we are posting a lot of content. And be sure to like this video for even more baking videos. Thank you. So let's hip hippity hop to it. <laughs> I hope as we do this more and more, making French macaroons, that the routine becomes more and more easier for you. The essential part of really nailing a French macaroon starts with the meringue and ends with the meringue. We'll start by, well, let's make sure this doesn't fall off. We are plugged in this time, so we are ready to go without a problem. We're going to start, as usual, with our egg whites, fresh egg whites, no liquid egg whites, and cream of tartar and salt. And you can put this in the bowl of a stand mixer or you can put it in a bowl with a hand mixer. I have um, included in the caption below a link to a refurbished mixer because I know stand mixers can be pretty expensive. I wanted to make sure that you guys can afford them at any cost because I think they're a great asset to your kitchen and they last for about 20 plus years. You wanna start your egg whites on high until they're foamy and frothy before you even start to add your granulated sugar. And you can also combine your confectioner sugar and your almond flour in a sifter at this point. Once the egg whites become foamy and frothy, you can um, switch your speed to low and slowly add the granulated sugar. So in the meantime, I'm gonna sift through the almond flour and the confectioner sugar. And as always, I have attached links below to my favorite almond flour that's never too oily and is always fine enough where the macarons are nice and smooth. So you wanna make sure that you're mixing your meringue until it's hard, stiff peaks, almost look like, you know, clotted cream. The cream of tartar is gonna ensure that you don't over whip it so you don't have to worry about that. You wanna make it almost like it's, it's like clumpy. I'm not kidding, that's the perfect texture for this recipe. We're adding our meringue to our almond flour mixture with the confectioner sugar and the strawberry milk powder. Again, you wanna make sure that you're not adding your food color to the meringue because you will never achieve that vibrant color and you might end up destroying your meringue doing that. Your mixture very carefully. If it takes longer, that's okay. Better undermixed than overmixed. So you wanna get it to the point where it's still undermixed before you add your gel food color. And if you still see these like white streaks, that means that um, it's not even to the point where you wanna undermix yet. You wanna keep stirring it until the streaks are gone, but not completely mixed. When I first began making French macaroons, I was in search for the perfect pink color. And since then, I swear by this electric pink by a Mary color. It's just creates that perfect pink. I love the shade of pink because it can either be a really intense neon or you can kind of bring it back down to, to, to earth with this white gel food color. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make this strawberry milk color like a light pink for this recipe. You cannot go wrong with pink. If you guys haven't learned yet, pink is my favorite color. Start by adding your strawberry quick to your batter. Now you're going to add a couple of drops of your 
pink gel food coloring. Then we're going to be adding our white gel food color. And in this um, recipe, we're going to be using more white gel food color than we're going to be using pink because we want it to be a light pink. And this pink gel food coloring is pretty potent. I just love this pink color. It's so pretty. The white gel food color is a great food color to add to any of your colors because it neutralizes the color and takes away that little bit of yellow that you're getting from the almond flour. And you get a workout to those biceps. Always out of breath by the end of that. These are my favorite non-disposable pastry bags and I have added the link down below in the caption so you can get the same ones that I'm using. And I'm using a large round tip for this recipe which I also included the link in my captions below. And you just snip the tip of the pastry bag, slide in your large round tip, give it a twist so that when you fill in the batter it doesn't fall through. And use a drinking glass, fold it over and then it's a, it's a mess-free transfer. Oh, okay. I have a sheet pan, a half sheet pan lined with a nonstick silicone baking mat with pre-traced circles. And I love this mat because the pre-traced circles help me pipe consistent circles every time. And I've posted the link below for this mat so they can have this exact same mat too. People ask me if I do a count. Yes, sometimes I do it. I mean, I can do this in my sleep now because I've been doing it for so long. But if you're beginners, I would count one too. You can always add more batter and with the French meringue method, it tends to spread. So you want to start small. I also pipe my shells about one and a half inches and no larger. One, two, one, two. This recipe will give you about 60 shells, 30 French macaroons in total. Give them a good tap pop any air bubbles, add more batter where you see fit. These are gonna rest for about one hour or until they develop a skin and that they are not tacky to the touch and have no shine to them. They're completely matte and there's almost like a, a thin crust that has formed on the top of them. Then you're gonna pop them in the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 15 minutes. Oh, they are out of the oven and they are gorgeous and they're the perfect shade of pink. And using two sheet pans is a great way to maintain the color when they're in the oven. And the macaroons come out the same shade as they did when they went into the oven. Now we're gonna let these cool completely and we're going to make our strawberry milk buttercream because I'm obsessed with buttercreams and I'm going to pass on the obsession to you. Now we're gonna start with that perfect strawberry milk buttercream and it's really simple to make. You're going to add your butter and your confectioner's sugar and whip it on low. Oh. That. Oh my god, hi. <coughs> um. Nobody's gonna hire me. For our buttercream, we're gonna start by mixing our butter and confectioner sugar in a bowl of a stand mixer or the bowl of a hand mixer until it's double in volume and white. Once that's double in size, you can add your strawberry milk powdered mixture. And then the second star of the show, other than the strawberry milk mixture, we're going to be using milk. And that's it. Now you're gonna fill those perfectly pink shells with your perfectly strawberry milk buttercream. And we're gonna keep it simple. I just use a round tip to pipe these guys, nothing fancy. I remember strawberry milk was a luxury when I was a child. My mom used to put it on the top shelf, which is probably how I learned how to climb. I used to climb the counters in order to get it. And now as an adult, I can have it whenever I want. And you can too. And they perfectly fit together. Nice and consistent. Look how pink that is. Perfect and pink and nostalgic and beautiful and perfect for this upcoming holiday or any day. How can you say no to strawberry milk? I've tried to walk past it so many times and it gets me every time and this recipe will get you too. Friends and family, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for even more content, please make sure to follow my Facebook and Instagram account. And if you're going to replicate any of my recipes, photos, or videos, please add hashtag creme macarons to your photos and videos so I can see, like, and share them to my stories. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, stay youthful, and keep baking.